Alright, hey guys, my name is Death Hunter, and you're watching Death Hunter Quality Gaming. Um, because I don't have a computer yet, it's kind of uh, difficult, but I'm going to see if I can do um, the whole Google Play thing. Uh, so what I have for you here today is uh, one of my absolute all-time favorite games, Plug Inc. Um, it's a, basically a strategy game where you have to build a disease and take out the entire world. I've always thought it was pretty interesting, but, I mean, other people could disagree. It is kind of a morbid topic. But anyway, um, I am going to walk through the whole game with you. If you don't know what it is or need help, just uh, come watch this. Um, I think that's about it. Let's get started. Play a new game. All right, I've already done Bacteria. And uh, I've purchased bioweapon because I I've, it takes me so long to get through uh, nanovirus, but I'm gonna see if I can do it here. Um, so let's start with bacteria, and uh, I'll go through it with you. So the minimum you can do to get to the next level is normal, which is um, medium basically. Um, you have casual, normal, and brutal, as you can see here. And then if you press this, you have mega brutal. Um, I've never done mega brutal. Um, I've done Brutal, I've finished this um, thing on Brutal before, but I'm only going to do Normal, so, just so you can kind of get the feel for it. Um, so let's do Normal, uh, let's just use a ran uh, random name, uh, Severe Rash, Chemo Killer, there we go. Um, let's see, I, th I don't think I'm going to start off with anything. Uh, why can I... Can I get rid of this? Nah. Um, normally you wouldn't start out with anything, and on Google Play this is uh, a free game until you get into it. Um, if you don't have... Um, if you just have the free game, it'll take... I don't know, say... Uh, I think a dollar to get... Um, the ability to get all this, I've already paid that, so I don't need to. Um, I mean, you can still play the, the game all the way through, but you don't have, like, the things here. So, yeah, I mean, let's get started. You should ch definitely check out this game, by the way. It's so much fun. Um, it is a bit tricky, though, when you get into it. So, let me move this. Let's see if I can move this. Yeah. Alright, um... So, as you can see, you have DNA points and you have cure. Um, you don't want your cure uh, to go up because that means you've just lost the game. And uh, DNA points are basically like the currency. So, uh, where should I start? I, I've always learned that, I've learned that the best places to start are uh, Saudi Arabia, in that area there, uh, India or China. Oof, but... It's also good to start in some place like Greenland or Madagascar because they're the hardest to infect normally. So, actually, I think I'm going to start in Greenland this time. There we go. Now, as you can see, I have nine um, DNA points here. So, you know, let me get rid of that. So I'm going to go to Disease, Transmission. Uh, and you always want to do transmission before you do any symptoms. My advice, personally, is don't evolve any symptoms until you have infected everybody. Then it's just going to be like that, 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 that. It's going to be super, super quick um, to get it all done. So, yeah, um, I think I'll do air. And if you don't uh, upgrade air and water... Um, planes and ships will not be infected... So, you're going to have to watch out for that. It's always good to evolve those first. So, my advice is air first. Um, so, let's evolve that. And see, it took away all those DNA points. Um, well, obviously, you're not stupid. You could see that. Um, so, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, and you can't do this with uh, the normal version. You can, s But if you pay the $1, you can speed up time. Which makes the game a whole lot faster. Yeah. I'm gonna move this out of the way here real quick. 
Uh, riveters demand site paywall. A group of riveters, um, I can't pronounce that right, I, it's too late in the day, um, unsatisfied with their working conditions, have put forward a motion to require readers to subscribe to a paywall. Community fully supportive, dot, dot, dot. Man, this lighting sucks. Okay, here we go. That might be a bit better, or at least my, maybe my head's in the middle of it. Yeah, I know. Okay, so you're going to want to tap um, orange DNA bubbles as well, because those give you more DNA points where you can use to um, uh, evolve transmission and symptoms and abilities. So, um, you have these. You have air, water, livestock, blood, bird. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Um, rodent and insect. Um, you have symptoms, which are, which you oh, evolve as soon as you get through. So you have nausea, coughing, rash, anemia, cyst, and insomnia. And then for abilities, it, this part, this one over here changes depending on the type of plague you have. Um, so you, but over here it's all the same. So you have, um, Cold resistance, heat resistance, and drug resistance. Now you want to upgrade those because if you can't, there's some. If you don't upgrade these two, uh, the cold resistance and heat resistance, depending on where you start, you're not going to be able to infect areas as quickly as others. So you're going to want to upgrade those. And then this guy, drug resistance, he opens up a whole lot of possibilities in order to um, stop your disease from being cured. So that's always good. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, and like I said, this one changes. This one, um, bacterial resilience, it's, uh, it creates a shell to protect against all climates. Um, that's also very helpful, normally. Uh, the virus one is, like, increase in mutations. It's a bit different, but it could be helpful after you've gotten everyone. And you have to be careful with uh, viruses as well because um, if you uh, um, uh, de-evolve, because it'll evolve um, randomly, automatically. Sorry, my finger got in the way there. Um, when you evolve, it'll evolve automatically and you won't do anything. You're going to want to go to symptoms and you're going to tap one of these and down here it'll say devolve. And you want to do that. Um... Uh, but it, with virus, it'll cost you. So, uh, just don't evolve this ability until you've infected everyone or close to everyone. Let me get that. This is a whole lot different than playing by myself. Oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> so many orange bubbles. Okay. Now, there's another bubble, too. You saw the red ones, which means that a new country has been infected. Um, there's the orange bubbles, and if it comes up, there's a blue bubble as well, which you're going to need to pop. It won't give you any DNA points, but you're going to need to pop them, and I'll bring it up if I see that. If not, I'll just tell you at the end of the video. Um, Alright. Yeah. Country information, yeah. So what, so what that is, is you press on the world button at the bottom, and... Or, you press on the country to find out what it's about, and then you press on the world button, if you're, pr you press in the ocean to get the whole world, and you, ugh, what do you want? No, I don't care about Clash of Clans. Anyway, um, you click on the ocean to get the whole world thing, and then what happens is, uh, you click on this part here, and you get all this stuff here. And it's really helpful most of the time, like... You press on the I, you get info for each country. Uh, cold and very sparsely populated country, that's Greenland. Um, and I even chose that because it's easiest to infect the world with. So, hmm. Uh, let's see. Mm, there's not really much commentary going on here. Um... Did any of you guys see my last video? The one with the cat? Uh, he's not here right now. If he was, I'd bring him up. But, you, I'm just doing this to pass the time. Um, no, not really. But anyway, so many orange bubbles. 
Um, yeah, this is a lot of... It really takes strategy. And that's a... Okay, good. It's it spread to mainland. Here. Now, the e the hard, easily the hardest countries to infect are this guy, this guy, ah. uh, Greenland, Iceland, and this guy here. I mean, in some cases, this guy as well, but he's a little easier. Uh, medicine, oh, right, sorry, darn it. I'm forgetting things in my own play playthrough, what the heck. Okay, so I'm gonna move this guy up here. Um, so, like I told you before, drug resistance is very helpful. So what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to evolve that, and if you can, get genetic hardening. Because what that's gonna do is, it's if you can read this here, if you can't, I'll just tell you. Um, it means the pathogen will be harder to analyze in the lab. Uh, it, de it decreases future res research speed, and, it's what, and that's what you want, because, ah, can't speak today, because it'll, um, it'll just stop your disease from being cured faster. Ah, uh, see what I'm talking about? It'll, up it'll upgrade it, um, by itself. So, like I said, get rid of that, I get two points back, even though I didn't spend any, which is good. That's also another plus to doing that, if you're on... Um, the regular. Ah. Now this is where it starts to heat up. You have, um, Greenland going into Norway. Norway is now into Russia. And what was the other country that was just infected? Uh, was it Sweden? No. I can't remember. I didn't see. Um, but yeah. Like I said, this game is a lot of fun. It takes a lot of skill. Um, if you're doing it on Brutal, or Mega Brutal at least. So, but I, like I said, I definitely uh, recommend getting it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah. I've played this game so many times, though, that, like, there's nothing that'll really surprise me. Um, after I get through the playthrough, or the walkthrough, of the whole game, what I think... Ah, crud. Um, yeah. What I think I might do is, um, I might get the, uh... Oh, what's it called? The, uh, custom scenarios? So I can play some of those, because those I haven't played. I'm really interested. Because I can't get to them. Be floating in Bolivia, yeah, sure. Um, I don't have the money right now to get anything, so yeah. I mean, Festival of Norway, yeah, I know. Let me just make sure. Okay, yeah, that is recording. Oh Jesus! Imagine how terrible that would be if it wasn't recording. Oh my God! Her huge earthquake in Italy. Uh, billions of dollars of damage caused in Italy. Who? Um, as Jack Septic, I would say. Uh, World Health Organization expects, expects it will take years to repair the damage caused by thousands of businesses, homes, and research facilities. Yeah. I didn't read where that was from. Damn. <laughs> um. I always forget about that. That's the creepiest part, though. Is they have all these weird, like... Uh, sorry, the camera keeps going everywhere. They have all these weird um, noises and everything. It's just the strangest thing. Okay, so now that I've gotten into a hot country, what I'm gonna want to do is I'm going to I'm gonna move this thing. I'm gonna go into heat resistance and I'm going to evolve that. Um, if you're in bacteria like I am, I would suggest going into um, bacterial resilience and evolving that as well. Because it's it just adds an, an extra layer of protection for your pathogen. Much easier. I'm going to move this guy here. Tsunami hits Russia. Yeah. Okay. Lots of natural disasters. Got it. Whoa, okay. Everywhere. All at once. Ah, oh, darn it. I missed one. I missed... Let's see if I can do this without putting my finger in front of the camera anymore. Um, 
And I sincerely hope this doesn't um, become like a 20 minute video of me talking at all. Um, so, be while I'm doing this, while I'm waiting for all these other countries to be infected, I would like to know um, if you guys would want me to do any other videos. I'm thinking about doing some Gmod stuff. Because I just bought Gmod off the uh, Steam, off Steam, because I had 20 bucks on there that I didn't even know existed. Um, but I just bought it off there, and I wanted to see if you guys would want me want to watch me do that. Uh, it, I think it'd be fun, but that's that's entirely up to you guys. I mean, I'd I'd be willing to see if I can do whatever I can, um, or whatever you want me to, but. It might be a little difficult. <laughs> um, just leave me a message in the comments and uh, I'll see if I can get back to you. This is my first official gaming video, by the way. Yay me. <sighs> I'm lighting. Okay, good. And Saudi Arabia is a good country to start in as well, like I told you at the beginning of the video, because um, when you get Saudi Arabia, planes fly everywhere, and it's so much easier. It creates kind of like a web of um, this red line stuff that you see from all these other countries coming out, like that stuff here. Um, but Saudi Arabia just flies everywhere. China, India, mm, Australia... It's just crazy. New aid program for poor countries, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh, man. Could have gotten Plug Ink Evolved and I could have played this. I don't know what Plug Ink Evolved is, anyway. Alright, I know what it is, but it's like, I've never played it before, so it might be kind of interesting. I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe if I save up $20 again, I can buy it. The game is 15 I don't know. Damn it. Oh. That's one of my favorite, um, like, just the symbol is pretty cool, I always thought, because, well... Up until, like, two updates ago, it wasn't a thing. Because, um... There is... There was just, like, a like a world map. But now it's the Olympics thing. I always thought that... I, thought, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, you guys might disagree, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, I might as well go over some other things, too. So, like how I pulled up the world map thing. Let's see if I can pull this out so it's not, like, part of it anymore. Um, I, I pulled I pointed out the whole world map thing, but I hadn't shown you exactly what it was. So, um, you have three tabs when you go into the world. And like I said, you go into the world, um, when... Um, you click on the ocean, and it already says world here, but I click on the ocean here, say, okay, Botswana, I click, I touch on the ocean, and then, um, I go to world, and then go to cure, now world just has, sorry, I forgot to go over this one, just completely spaced it, um, the thing about the world is it shows you exactly how many people have been infected, how long it'll take for the cure to be available, which is more than 10 years now because I haven't evolved anything, um, and how many people are infected, how many people are healthy, and how many people have died. Obviously, I've only, I have a very few, uh, fear amount, and that's only because of the natural disasters you saw earlier. Um, now we go to cure. No cure has been released yet. Key research contributors, that's, yeah. You'll, s I'll pull that up later. Um, it's random every time. Uh, let's go... So, yeah, we don't have to worry about that right now. Okay, so we'll go to Infection Spread Summary. 
And I'll move this over here because we don't have any destroyed countries yet because I haven't used any uh, symptoms again. But we have healthy country, healthy countries and infected countries. And more, uh, in fact, there are more infected countries than healthy countries. Um, so you can just read through those. And it'll change constantly. Um, so world graph here. This is a graph of how many people have been infected over how, how long of a people of time and how many people have died over that time. Um, cure graph. They haven't put anything in that yet, but it should have been $25 million by now. Um, so that just shows, like, what the cure requirement should be. Well, you're not blind, uh, hopefully. Um, but uh, this basically shows what the cure requirement is currently and how much cure research has been conducted into it. Um, and then finally we have the disease graph. Now this shows your infectivity, your severity, and your lethality. Now, uh, I don't have any lethality yet because I haven't involved any symptoms, and I'll have low severity, and that's only because um, with every um, transmission you make, it adds more severity to it. I never really liked that feature. I think it, the severity should only come from the symptoms, but that's just me. I, I guess it makes sense on some level, but yeah, they didn't ask me. The developers didn't ask me when they made this. So yeah, let's get back to the game. I just <laughs> stop it. Um, here. think I have enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move uh, bugs uh, insect uh, I'm gonna involve evolve air as well uh, air again Now I'll talk about the symptom combos and the blue bubbles and all that when I get to it. Um, you do have certain sim uh, symptom combos though when you uh, do start evolving your symptoms. Okay, yeah, the uh, infectivity is going up, but you do have certain symptoms when you're um, uh, symptom combos when you start evolving your symptoms. Like um, the one I usually use is. Um, I go down here, and I go all the way down, and I use, um, total organ failure and coma. Sorry, I keep having to, like, swallow to clear my throat. Um, and those are very effective. They increase your lethality a lot, and they're very helpful. Um, more infectious than the common cold. Yeah, I know. Alright, uh, here we go, here we go. I wonder if I could, oh, I thought the light was part of my hair. Ah, darn it. It's too late in the day for this. Um, so let's see. Okay, let me pause that here. Okay, that thing you just saw, that means um, that if your disease has the certain um, symptom that, that stated, which was in this case diarrhea, your disease will be able to be cured more easily. So you want to read that. I'm sorry I didn't because I just thought it was something else and then I realized the second I did it, I was like, oh god. But basically... What it means is that you can't upgrade that symptom because if you do, your cure will be the cure for your disease will be a lot faster, and you don't want that. Um, so yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, anemia, yeah. Like I said, go back to symptoms. I 
here. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to, when I started the video, I, sh I pressed those, um, the, the shuffle button, the two arrows that kind of cross each other, um, you don't have to do that, you can just, you can name it whatever you want, I, it's not like it's not up to me, um, because I'm, obviously it's not, but you can name it whatever you want, I just thought it'd be simpler just to press that button so it's, like, easier to get through the game. Like, just so I didn't have to worry about it. I usually overthink those way too much, and I didn't want to do that because, uh, yeah, video. <laughs> As you couldn't already tell, I'm recording a video. If you can't tell, then wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you clicked on it in YouTube, right? Rash, yeah, I know. Alright. And the thing, though, when you get to higher, um, diseases, the, um, the prices continually add up. Um, and that's only when you get to nanovirus and virus, um, and if you're on Brutal. But, the prices will continually add up, and eventually it'll get way too high. Um, so there is a gene that you can use um, if you have the full version called Darwin, or no, creationism, or creationist, where that you can use and it'll slow down um, the uh, evolution, the automatic evolution that I told you about earlier, that you can obviously have seen I've done a couple times. Uh, for those diseases, but it's actually not very helpful if you have any others, because those um, the symptoms that you can get are actually uh, quite helpful because they give you extra DNA points, and you're going to want to use those to get more symptoms and upgrade your disease and get through it faster. Now, I've known people who can get through the game by simply doing uh, low lethality, or low to no lethality, but still have symptoms. And I guess you can do that, um, but it's just simpler to do it this way. Sorry, chill. What's with the grass, seriously? <laughs> oh my goodness. Africa that's um, getting pretty um, far from being infected. It's always Angola. I don't know why. It's always Angola and possibly these two at some point. Like, because I mean, obviously, yeah. Needs to. I don't care right now. You can evolve now to kill, but look at how little Angola has been infected. I wouldn't do it. Ah. Okay. No, I didn't want to move that. Alright. Ugh. Crimity. I could curse way worse, but my mom's here, so. Uh, nausea, so symptoms again. Yeah. Come on, Angola, don't be stupid. And the cool thing is, though, um, the rates of infection grow exponentially. And if you don't know what that means, it just, if you put it on, on a graph, it would go like this. Rather than just like a straight line, it would curve up. 
so you start really low, and as you keep going up, it starts to curve because you have you start normally and then you double and then you double that and then you double that and you double that. Um, so it makes kind of like a like a backwards J almost or a forwards J depending on which way you're um, graphing it. If you're going down like that, it's backwards. If you're going up like that, it's forwards. Just a little fun math qu math um, uh, lesson for all y'all kids out there. Ah, darn it. Angola, get your act together. Seriously, man. Now, if I am correct, okay, good. So everyone in the world is currently infected with the disease. Now this is when you want to start upgrading your symptoms, and you can use your DNA points to, for that. And a good reason for that is um, for the DNA points it makes it easier to uh, um, upgrade everything because it can get pretty expensive. Watch, coughing up. Oh, that's four. Sneezing. Six. That's ten already. Immune suppression, fourteen. So that's twenty-four. Heart failure, fifty-three. Coma, seventy-eight. I just lost seventy-eight points just for getting that combo. Now I go to fever, go to skin lesions, necrosis, hemorrhagic shock. And that ran me dry. And I had 170-something DNA points. You gotta be wise on how you use those things. Otherwise, it's not gonna end well. Now, diarrhea is the second one you get after doing this. After doing nausea, which is this one up here. So you upgrade that. And you get diarrhea next. Now, I didn't want to do that. Because it would have uh, made my cure a lot easier uh, to make. So, let's get back into this. And, you're worrying disease spreading? Yeah, I know. First death in Algeria. Assist, yeah. Now, now it's a good time not to let your disease, or to let your disease up, up, uh, upgrade at will. And that's because it'll make your severity bet worse, it'll make your lethality worse, and it'll qu uh, make the game quite a bit quicker for you. There are no healthy people left in the world. Yeah. I already pointed that out. You didn't need to read that. Okay. Um, yeah. Killed more than a black death. Killed more than the Spanish flu. Killed more than smallpox. Sweden shuts down seaports. Now, this is important. And this is why you want to get everyone in the world before you can... Before you start infecting everyone. And it's because of this. 
Um, ever, as countries uh, start to lose people, they will shut down their seaports, their land borders, and their airports. Now, you don't want this to happen, because then it'll um, not allow you to upgrade, or to transfer to other countries. That end, it'll make your cure um, evolve quite a bit faster. So, um, I went against my own uh, advice here. Ah, stop doing that. Okay. And I forgot to do this. Now, genetic hardening. Now, this one's a good one because it will make sure that it doesn't reproduce in lab conditions, as you can see here. So that means that, um, say you put it in a Petri dish, like you would a normal bacteria or fungus or whatever. You put that in there, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to reproduce. It's just going to die. And that's a good thing because scientists can't study your disease. Um... Which makes it slower, because they need to capture quite a bit more diseases. So I'm going to move here. Indonesia starts working with cure. Yeah. Symptom, no, uh, abilities. I'm going to, and a good one here also is genetic reshuffle. And what that is, is it basically um, changes the DNA of your, D um, your pathogen, so it makes it harder for uh, a cure to be developed. So I want to upgrade that. And the second one is a new strain, and the third one is multiple strains. So Iran begins to break down. Do 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 do. Sudan and anarchy. Yeah, you'll get notices like that. Um. Okay. So genetic reshuffle. A new strain of the pathogen now exists. So yeah, like I said, new strain. And then multiple strains of the pathogen now exist. So your b bacteria comes becomes from one strain to the flu, basically. <laughs> Considering there's so many uh, strains of the flu, global research uh, focused on cure. Yeah. Am I gonna get a blue plane? Am I gonna get something like that? Uh. All right. You get a notice pretty soon when you get down into yeah, chemo killer to eradicate humans. Chemo killer has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans like dying in holes with no chance of survival. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. And boom, the game's over. Okay, so now you can check your disease after what's done, and you can check. Um, your infectivity, severity, and lethality. Now, I told you about uh, these before, but, um, and how these on were only really effective, uh, um, only the uh, infectivity was affected. Well, now take a look. You have this, and it goes up a little bit, then it skyrockets. Your severity skyrockets, and your lethality skyrockets. And that's because I did all those symptoms just like that, like, all at once, and what that does is it um, launches your um, infectivity and lethality, or your severity and your th lethality, so it's easier to kill everyone, and you do it really quickly. See, it took that long for everyone to get infected, all this people, all this time over here, and that all this time over here, and it only took that long for everyone to die. Yeah, that's pretty scary if that happened in real life. And look at the cure research. Now, the cure requirement goes from 24 million all the way up to 47 million. Now, the cure research didn't even get up to 5 million. It gets harder, uh, obviously, when you choose brutal or uh, mega brutal, but this is, it gets, it's still pretty easy. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, you can do that if you want, I don't. Um, oh, four infectivity symbols. 11% uh, complete, complex, normal, yeah. Okay, uh, this basically says, like, the statistic. Yeah, that showed your, like, statistics and everything. Um, I'll point, I'll be sure to point that out in the next video. See, Darwinist, that's the exact opposite of creationist. That's the one you do not want if you're doing virus next, which I am, so I'm not going to upgrade that. All right, uh, try it later. Now, that's about it for this video. I'll put the next one up. Uh, Maybe in a day, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace.